In the previous video, we talked about spoofing a system IP address using VPN service called Windscribe. After we set up and log in into the VPN over the Ubuntu system, we need to manually connect with different VPN servers after some time. But we can automate it using Python so that automatically the IP of our system keeps changing after some duration so that no one can have track of our system anyhow. It will make our system more protected. So for that, I'm going to create our Python file which, is, which will be named as VPN jumper because it is going to jump from one server to another. I'm going to use nano editor. And the first step that we need to do is we have to first add the shebang line that will be responsible for Python running this file in Python 3. And we have to set the environment for Python 3. And we are done. Now we have to import the required modules. The first one we have to import is OS because we want to run the OS commands from this file. Then we have to import sleep from time. So for that we'll say from time import sleep. And after that we have to import random. We want to import random because we will select some random from a list. Okay. First we'll create code list. That will store the list of codes of the locations. Okay. Now, if you remember from the previous video, we talked about this file that is locations that displays all of the locations that we can use in Windscribe. There are lots of bunch of servers that you can take in use. We are going to use this short name in this list that will be called with the command. Okay. If you remember. We do like this printscribe and connect and the location like fr or wherever you want to connect. This is how we call it to change the server from one location to another. Okay. So for that, we will create a code list from where a random location will be selected to run the commands on. Okay. So for now we are taking this much only in the code list then we are going to create this whole program in a try except condition it's very ideal that when you are programming in python you must use try conditions or in any other language if you are programming in automation it's always better to try uh, it put it in a try condition because in that scenario if it fails it will display that it has failed okay because in automation situations Sometimes program don't run, but it doesn't displays that it's not running. Okay, in that scenario, we need to do that. So first thing we have to do is we have to run a system command which says uh, windscribe connect to connect it to the first VPN server as of its default. Okay, then we are going to set a while condition which says if it's true, then we will create the main program, main function of this program. So first we'll do void code choice. Okay. A code choice is a variable that will store the random choice from this list. For that we will do random dot choice. And after that we'll put code list variable in this as a parameter so that it will select these list and choose a random from it. Then we will put a sleep timer. By selecting a random range from a list of 120 seconds to 300 seconds okay bracket will be here after that what we will do we will print a statement okay that we will say changing the IP address okay after that we will change the ip like we will we are connecting to the default one so we will change it for that we will say os dot system and inside that we will pass wind scribe connect we need to put a space right here because we are going to add a location parameter right here 
which will be used through this variable okay because it has selected a random one from this list okay now we are done with the try condition now let's create the accept condition okay in the accept condition what we have the scenario is if it goes out of the try like if the scenarios fail in this then in the accept condition it will do first is disconnect okay so for that we will to pass the disconnect command and after it disconnects we have to print that there is some error so for that we will say print error word okay then we will that's all so let's just get clear this is the code list from where we are selecting the locations okay then we have created a try condition where we are first uh, passing this windscribe connect uh, command uh, in any scenario this fails then it goes directly to the accept condition and if go it goes true then we are going to uh, select a random location from this list and then we are making it sleep for a random time let's decrease this time okay because for illustration this is a very big time okay but uh, to be ideal it must be kept a little higher so that it uh, works relevantly then we are printing a statement to change that we are changing the ip address and then we are running a system command to change it and there we have the accept condition to disconnect and print that error has occurred okay so now let's save it okay now you see here we have vpn jumper let's change the permission to executable have the permission dot and now we are able to run it in a no error pattern okay so that's running fine So that's all in this video hopefully you have learned something from this and if you did make sure you give a thumbs up as an appreciation and make sure to do subscribe to watch more videos like this and share this with your friends so they can they can also learn more on vpn and anonymity and the code will be in the description in a github link and make sure you also follow me on github i will appreciate that thank you for watching and stay connected